Good morning, 10th of September 2024, and we have an Amber Alert out of Boiling Springs Lakes, North Carolina for Chloe Marlowe, a three-year-old. From WRAL News, an Amber Alert has been issued for missing three-year-old Chloe Marlowe, last seen with her grandmother near Boiling Springs Lakes, North Carolina. Three-year-old Marlowe is believed to be with her grandmother, 49-year-old Jamie Lee Marlowe. The two were last seen leaving 210 South Shore Drive in Southport in a red 2018 Kia Sportage. The North Carolina license plates are EMN9366. This was posted at 11.50 p.m. Yesterday um, and updated this morning at 6:07 a.m. Boiling Springs Pol Lakes Police Department has issued an Amber Alert for missing three-year-old Chloe Marlowe. Chloe is approximately three feet tall and weighs around 37 pounds. She has brown hair and brown eyes. She is believed to be with her grandmother, 49-year-old Jamie Lee Marlowe. The two were last seen driving, or seen leaving, 210 South Shore in Southport. This is all the same information I've just read you, but here is what's important. If you have any information about Chloe Marlowe or Jamie Lee Marlowe's whereabouts, please call 911 or the Boiling Springs Lakes Police Department at 910. Two five three seven four nine zero. Just as a reminder, these are the other cases we are still following. Summer Wells missing since 6 15 2021 out of Tennessee. Michael Fawn missing since 7 27 2021 out of Idaho. Tamara and Iris Perez missing from Ross Common County, Michigan, and they have been missing since 6 8 2023. We have Sebastian Rogers missing from Hendersonville, Tennessee since 2 26 2024, and Kishan Williams missing since 6 17 2023 out of Cleveland, Ohio. You can find more information in the Missing Cases playlist. Summer Wells and Sebastian Rogers have their own playlist. Here's another look at Chloe Marlowe. Let's hope that she is rescued speedily and we can bring you an update by the end of the week. I would like to acknowledge that remains have been found in Wisconsin and they are off for testing at the forensics lab to see if they are the remains of Elijah Vu. I did not report on Elijah Vu because I was reporting on another case and then Sebastian Rogers went missing and I chose Sebastian over Elijah. It's the luck of the draw. There was uh, no bias either way. Thank you very much for joining me. God bless you and I'll see you real soon.